ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, today we are in a new and like brand new area, Fort Pierce, Florida, and we are at Cumberland Farms, another gas station video, because I know you guys love the last one so much. Um, but anyways, yeah, so this is the pizza right here, you guys. Let me get it out of the package and get you guys a better look at it. But honestly, it's already looking better than 7-Eleven. Very, very greasy. Oh my God, this piece of cardboard is bathing in grease. But that's the pizza right there, you guys. And let me throw this in my pocket. And we're just gonna go ahead and jump right into it. I'm visiting my, I'm visiting my grandparents right now for my birthday. So I figured we wanna do Cumberland Farms because I used to like this pizza actually when I was by them for a little bit. But let's go, let's go for the pizza. Off the bat, you hit the cheese, the cheese, like there's something about that process artificial that just like is hitting a lot better than the 7-Eleven already. Um, you can tell it's made with a little bit more care, but let me chew a little bit more. Mm, very, very doughy. There's one thing I've been noticing with these gas station pizzas, and there's like no char or here or nothing. Um, let's go for the crust as well. Mm. So you know what this tastes like? This tastes like your DiGiorno like frozen pizza. Like that's like my best way to explain it, but it's like a little bit more cheesier than that. We'll go ahead for like one or two more bites and then we'll give our review. Mm. Okay, okay. So yeah. The dough is very, very prominent. Like you really taste the dough, which I don't really like. Like I'm not much of a dough guy, but what makes up for it is the sauce and the cheese. Now, the pepperoni doesn't really do much for it, nor does the crust. Mm. If I have to give it a rating now, though. Mm. Fun fact, actually, while I'm thinking about my rating, I, I was actually supposed to go to this college, Indian River State College, across the street. A very beautiful university over there, but I never ended up going there. And, um, yeah, it should happen. You can't really see it? Aw, oh, damn. You know what? We usually don't give round scores around here. I might get roasted for this. I think it's a six. Like, I think, I think it's a solid six, honestly. Like, I can't change my rating now, so we're just gonna go with a six. But yeah, six out of 10, you guys. And comment down below. Do you guys eat gas station pizza? Would you try gas station pizza? And do you guys like the gas station pizza videos? Because let me know. I always want to satisfy you guys, give you guys what you want. So whatever you guys want next, let me know. Should we go to a restaurant, racetrack? Maybe racetrack is next. I got in trouble with the 7-Eleven video too um, because of the cocaine joke that I made. They literally threatened to sue me and shit. It was ridiculous. It was absolutely ridiculous. Um, <clears throat> but I <laughs> can't talk too much about it. Can't talk too much about it. All right, so Julie wanted to try it on camera. I don't know if you've ever tried a pizza on cam. I'm really nervous. Try it, try it. Don't, don't think about it, don't think about it. You're good. Take your time. Very doughy, like you were saying. Super doughy, right? Yeah. yeah. But for a gas station pizza, though, it's actually kind of showing up. No cap. It does taste like a supermarket mini pizza. <laughs> no! Yeah. My oh my god. <laughs> You're going straight for the pizza. Bro, that's crazy. <laughs> yeah, because people be feeding them. That's probably why. Um. It really tastes like the mini pizzas you get at a convenience store, like family store or something like that, and then you just microwave them or put them in the oven. That's what it tastes like. Yeah, what's your rating out of 10, though? Um, I would go with a 6, too. A 6? Yeah. Or a 6.2? No, I would go with a 6. With a 6? Alright, so double 6s across the board. Guys, try it for yourself and let us know what you think.